the value of lambda for which the given equations are consistent. So the given equations are x plus y plus z is equal to 6, x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 10 and x plus 2y plus lambda z is equal to 12. Now in order to find the value of lambda what we do is then make the coefficient matrix I mean determinant of the coefficient matrix to 0. If the determinant of the coefficient matrix is 0 then the equations will be consistent. So the coefficients are 1, 1, 1, then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, lambda is equal to 0. Let us apply row operations. We will apply R1 tends to R1 minus R2 and R2 tends to R2 minus R3. So that the simplification will become easy. So if I apply R1 minus R2, it will be 0, minus 1, minus 2. Similarly, R2, 0, 0, 3 minus lambda, 1, 2, lambda is equal to 0. Now, instead of expanding horizontally, what we do is we will expand vertically so that the simplification will be easy. That means we need to expand only 1. So if I expand along 1, it will be minus times of minus 1 into 3 minus lambda minus minus 2 into 0 that is equal to 0, which implies 3 minus lambda is equal to 0, which implies lambda is equal to 3, which is option. For the block diagram shown below, the limiting value of k for the stability of the inner loop is found to be in between x and y. The overall system is stable, it can be used. See, for the inner, inner loop characteristic equation is s minus a, s plus 3a, s plus 2a plus k is equal to 0. For the outer loop characteristic equation is similar except k is replaced by 2k because it is going to be added twice because of the feedback is going to be repeated twice. So if k is in between x and y, 2k is between x and y for the outer complete system to be stable. So k should be x by 2 rather than less than y by 2. Hence option B is correct. Iristo has an I square dt integral of I square dt rating of 15 ampere square seconds and is being used to supply the circuit as shown in figure. Okay, this is a circuit he has given. Now, when a fault occurs, it short circuits the 10 ohm resistors to earth. Okay, these two 10 ohms resistors are short circuited, so I can represent it like this. Okay, these two are short circuited. So what is this equivalent circuit now? It reduces to 120 volt source with a thyristor and only 1 ohm. Okay, since these two are short circuited, so resistance equivalent is equal to 0. Now what is the shortest fault clearance time to be achieved if damage to the thyristor is to be prevented? Now if you see here, he has given integral of I square into dt is equal to 15 amperes rating. So it should not cross it should not cross this rating okay so we have to maintain this rating so what is integral i value here i is equal to when thyristor is conducted 120 by 1 ohm so it is equal to 120 amperes so integral of 120 square into dt is equal to 15 i can say this as t is equal to 15 by 120 whole square so this is 1.04 milliseconds is the correct answer. Option A is the right answer. The 4 is to 1 marks below implements the Boolean function which is shown below. The inputs to I1 and I3 is here if you want to solve see out of the four variables, two variables are connected to the control lines. So, what we will do is by using K map, we can easily handle this one. See, let's see W, X, Y, Z. So, this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, this corresponds to I0 line, this corresponds to I1 line, this corresponds to I3 line, this corresponds to I2 line. So, after substituting or entering the given min terms, that is 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 
15 here from this i not equals to 0 so it is already given in the question itself so we have to find out the i1 so i1 is nothing but this is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so look at this car this row this particular row exactly i1 is if you combine these two things and these two things you will get it as this is nothing but y bar plus z so i3 comes to i3 here y exclusive nor of z and the i2 is nothing but z hence y bar plus z comma y exclusive z hence see here it should not be there 